everyone, I'm back with another video. This time, you guys are going to be learning how to make a platformer. And you'll be learning the scripts involved. Just note, this is 90% mine. Someone fixed a bug for me. Okay, so before we get started, let's look at what this can do. This is pretty cool. The collision is pretty good. You can't glide into the wall. When you touch bikes, you go back to the beginning. The movement is pretty good. Okay, so this is going to be split into four parts. The first part is going to be doing the scripts. The second part is going to be like more art and so on. Well, okay, now let's begin. Let's create a new project. Um, okay, let's go to the variable section and make a variable called Y velocity. Well, but what is y velocity? Y velocity is basically the change in y, and in simpler terms, just up and down movement. Okay, so what do we have to do? Let's go to the uh, events block. Um, let's drag in a one click. Uh, go to the um, control block and uh, drag in a forever loop. And we're gonna be like changing y by our variable y velocity. Uh, okay, here and. We're just going to change y velocity by negative 1. So when we test this out, it should just keep moving, like uh, going down forever. As you can see, this is what happens. Um, okay, but we don't want this to keep going on forever. So we need to do some code, like if touching levels, you need to stop that going down. Uh, so let's just um, drag in a change y by negative 1 here. Um, and then we need an exception when it touches the levels, so it stops going down. So let's do a let's drag in an if statement, and if touching levels, um, set. Uh, I'm just gonna do this code really quickly. Uh, please watch, and then I'll explain after. So basically what this code is, um, it, what it does is like it sets, like it stops the player um, when it touches uh, the levels. So um, we just need one more thing, set y velocity to zero. So okay, uh, sorry guys, we need one more thing to make it balanced here. I said change y by negative one. We just need to like uh, counterbalance it by adding a change y by one. As you can see, um, we we got the player um, onto the ground. Uh, see, the collision isn't too great yet. Um, okay, now let's do like. Um, uh, let's do like um, left and right movement. So um, let's drag in two. Uh, let's drag in an if else statement, and then um, let's put an uh, if statement inside the else statement, and let's do if key arrow pressed, um, key right arrows pressed. Uh, we're gonna make in uh, another variable called x velocity. The reason why we're doing this is uh, we want a gradual movement. We could do change uh, x by 5 and negative 5, but that's just going to be the same movement. But what we want is uh, it needs to go, uh, like as you press it for a longer speed, it goes faster and faster. So um, let's duplicate this and let's do um, let's do left arrow key here. Uh, um, so now let's do change uh, x velocity by 1 and else if left then you, you have to go the opposite way so it's a uh, negative one um, and we're gonna we're gonna also like um, we have two costumes one for right and one for left so uh, if it's if um, right arrow pressed we're gonna switch costume to um, right else we're gonna uh, switch it to left okay good now uh, what we have to do is like we need to like kind of define the x velocity. So let's go to let's drag in a uh, set x velocity and let's go to the times um, times let's drag in a times block and we need to do 
uh, 0.9 times x velocity. So this is a gradual movement. And we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be changing x by x velocity. So yeah. Uh, Okay, now carefully drag this code into here. As you can see, we can move and move and move. We can move left and right, left and right. Okay, now let's uh, start defining. Um, we need to, we still have to do the collision and up arrow key. Uh, okay, so the up arrow key is pretty easy to do. Let's just drag in and uh, Let's just duplicate this. Um, yeah, here. If up arrow key pressed, we're gonna set y velocity to twelve. Oh, okay. Let's do this. And let's drag. Let's. Uh, you guys have to follow along, along uh, carefully. If you place the code in the wrong place, the there may be some bugs. So now let's press the up arrow key. As you can see, the collision is pretty good. So when it goes up, it comes down and stops exactly around here, which is pretty good. Now we still have to do collision. As you guys can see, um, look, uh, what what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to like kind of stop right here. Like it's not, you can't like glide into the wall. So for this, I'm just gonna uh, just hide the x velocity and y velocity to make it more clean, like make the code more clean. And in order to do this, let's go to the when clicked block. Um, set. We're gonna make a new variable called x and one called y. Let's hide them as well. We're gonna set x. Uh, let's set y. We're gonna set uh, x to x position. And y to y position. Okay, so let's drag it in forever. Uh, I'll, I'll explain this after I finish uh, coding. And let's take this if statement in here. If touching levels, we're gonna go to x. Go to. Let's drag in the go to block. Go to x, y, uh, else. Sorry, guys. We just we just need to transport this to the if else. Okay, and we're else set x and y to uh, x and y position. So this is like the collision code. It's kind of stuck here. Oh yeah, we need to like uh, make it like go to a certain place when it stops. Uh, I mean, when the game begins. So we're just gonna do go to. Uh, where's the go to block? Let's do negative uh, one eighty-eight uh, one twenty. As you can see, when I press the right arrow key, you can't move any further. As you can see, there's some like glitch. So how do we fix this? Like uh, when I press the up arrow key, it takes like about like few seconds to actually go up. So we need to add one more piece of code here. Uh, so if touching, let's just uh, duplicate this code. If touching levels change I'll explain this code just give me one minute as you can see what this code does is it uh, stops the glitch and there's no glitches at all
So, okay, now, now let me explain this code. So what this does is, if touching levels uh, change x by uh, this blank minus, we can fill this to 0 minus x velocity. So for instance, let's take 1 as x velocity. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So what it does is changes x by negative 1. So what this does is it doesn't let you collide with the um, like with this like bar here. So like it keeps you away and it doesn't let you glide into it. So this is what it does and okay. So this is basically the uh, basic um, engine for, uh, plat uh, for platformers. I'm just gonna add a final touch here, like just spikes. Uh, you can just do when clicked. Okay, so how you do the spikes is you just say one click forever. If touching spikes, go to the same position that when we started. So hopefully this tutorial is helpful and the next part will be out in a few uh, days. So thank you guys and if you like this video, please subscribe. I spent so much time on the Zinjin and I finally made it work and thank you guys for viewing. Thank you very much.